back in the old Conrad Gymnasium after 30 some years. We're having a craft show with alumni people involved. See if I can get something. in the halls of the old school after 30 some years they put in elevators we didn't have elevators when we went here I don't believe we did the second one I've seen Library, still in the same place. Computers in there now. Have replaced the card catalogs. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Hi. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Class of 76. <sighs> the office area, still in the same place, of course, much different. Much, much different. Principal's office. I didn't have to go there much, if at all. I think it was over here on the left. Yep. Main entrance. Computers in every classroom. After all, this is a science school. Auditorium. Spent a lot of time in there.
A lot of memories. I remember when I was right about here, I heard that Jim Croce died. It's like 74, 75, somewhere in there. Down this hallway in. Over on this side of the entrance is sports trophies from over the years. Oh, and a Conrad jacket, like mine, from 1970. Donated by somebody. Um, they call it the schools of science. And it's a good thing because nowadays that's what it's all about, technology and science. So you can get a job. My mom graduated in 1944 from here. Just outside are some stones that are some bricks that uh, has her name on it and my name on it. Science labs, I remember being in there. Chemistry, I think we called it back then. Another one. I think I had math class in here, or geometry. And I never thought that geometry would come in handy, but it does in my profession right now. Yep. So you never know. Many, many, many years. Two lifetimes, over two lifetimes since I went here. Tennis courts up there where I played tennis. Brings back a lot of memory. A lot of memories. Playing tennis here. We loved playing here, tennis here. 
We loved it. We loved playing tennis here so much. They wouldn't even have the nets up. It'd be winter time. There'd be snow on the ground. But we'd still play tennis here. We'd come up and play tennis. That was when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old. And I went on the tennis team and made it to first year. I think the tennis courts were green back then. I think they were. Forty years ago. Hey, the sun finally came out. Soccer is a big game now. I think we had a soccer team when I was here. It took a back seat to the football team, of course. But now soccer is very popular. Remember playing in the band in those stands? Remember marching on this field? Playing a trumpet. Dun, 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 dun. Fifty yard line brings up memories. golf class here and I remember hitting golf balls off of this field and some of them landing across the streets in the neighbor's lawn. I remember running laps on this track 
think the track is a quarter mile around. Running many, tr many, many rounds on this track. Across the country and tennis. I don't know if I can make one round right now. Little dinky stands for the visiting team. It's good to see kids throwing a football around. Still to this day. On a Saturday morning. This is where they sell concessions to make money for the booster club. To support the teams and the band. Ooh, water graffiti. I'll have to report it to the police. But the evidence might blow away in this wind in about 10 minutes. Another concession stand. And I remember marching up these, this ramp. You go up to the stands to play in the band. There wasn't this ramp here back then. I think there was a set of stairs leading up to the grandstands. Looks like they've been replaced. They look in good shape. <laughs> And they made them so you can't drop anything down, or it's very hard to drop anything down because we used to drop things down on people that were underneath the stands doing nefarious things. Or at least amorous things. We used to sit right about here, I think. I think the stands are brand new because piece that's falling off. Yeah, there's another piece there. So, must be brand new. Now this is where they used to play soccer and baseball. We still play baseball here, I'm sure, and practice for soccer, but I don't remember them ever playing soccer in the main stadium, but I guess they have enough crowd for that now. General Motors plan is about two or three blocks that way. So we were very close to the GM plant back in the 70s and 80s. The GM plant closed down in 2009. The Fisker Electro Electric Car Company was supposed to take over the plant and bring back jobs and everything, but that never materialized, at least to date. Hopefully something will go in there. The Chrysler plant that was down in Newark by the University of Delaware was torn down a couple, three years ago, and uh, the university bought most of the property and they're making shops and more classrooms down there where the plant used to be. Well, it's gotten cloudy again. I'm glad we're having the Krebs reunion inside this year because we were taking too much of a chance to have the fourth annual Krebs reunion outside. We had three of them outside and we had decent weather. So I think we were chancing it, having a fourth one. I see down there some bleachers or something disassembled. So maybe they're still in the last processes of assembling this stadium uh, for the fall football season. Unlike Florida where they play football at night, which is a good idea because of the heat, and they have lights, there are no lights in this stadium. I think uh, at least back then there was only like one stadium with lights that was the Lazy Animal. It was a boys school, it still is I believe, a Catholic boys school. And uh, I remember going to a night game on a Friday night. That was something else. That was something new for us. 
Yeah, more remnants from the construction. Seems like they have a good turnout here for the crafts show today, which is good. Good they're showing some school spirit. <laughs> 